This video was sponsored by East Oak. Does that look okay? All right. My name is Jason Hibbs. I run Bourbon Moth Woodworking and I am a woodworker. They say woodworking's a learned skill. It's developed over years of patience, practice, and just figuring things out as you go. But what they don't tell you is the dark side of woodworking, the unspoken truths that nobody seems to have a solution for. One of the most difficult things about being a woodworker is the endless amounts of scrap wood. It seems like every project produces more and more pieces of scrap wood. Anywhere from small pieces, like toothpicks, to large pieces that haunt you in the dead of night. Pieces so big that you wonder where you're gonna store them. Do you save them? Do you shove them behind your workbench? Am I ever gonna use this? What do you do with all the scrap wood? Initially, I thought I could give them away as gifts but nobody seemed to like the little useless pieces of wood I gave them for Christmas, birthdays, bar mitzvahs. Then I thought perhaps I could just throw them on the side of the road as I drove from here to there. I started taking pieces of wood with me in the car. I just rolled down the window and chuck a piece as I went, but naturally I got pulled over. Some people didn't like the fact that I was chucking wood out of a moving vehicle. So I couldn't do that anymore. Then I decided to burn it. This seemed like the most logical solution. I light it on fire, it burns for a while, and then it's gone. The problem is I get so much scrap wood collected over the course of days, weeks, months, years, that the pile would get to an ungodly amount of wood. And when I finally light it on fire, well, it wasn't safe. It would leave big, black, scorched marks on my property. So I wanted to come up with a solution where I could get rid of the wood, still burning it, but on a smaller scale. I thought if there was some way that I could burn the wood, not yearly, but daily, small, controlled, contained fires, that this would be the perfect way to expel all the scrap wood and finally rid me of this problem. That's when I found the East Oak pan stove and it truly has changed my life. I looked at a lot of different fire pit designs before I purchased my East Oak pan stove. The thing I love about this one is it's 100% stainless steel. It's available in three different sizes, 17 inch, 21 inch, and 29 inch. I got the 29 inch because, well, I got a lot of scrap wood. It's also available in two different colors, chiseled steel and pitch charcoal, or black, which is what I picked out because I figured, I mean, fire makes things black. So it just made sense. The East Oak pan stove is also super easy to clean, which is really important to me when I was making a decision on which stove to buy. It comes with a removable ashtray and a long hook that can easily take the ashtray out for quick cleaning. So you don't need to worry about the typical issues that other fire pits have, like accumulating ash inside the fire pit and blocking the vent holes, or getting your hands and clothes all icky and dirty. The high fire technology of the pan stove uses a circle turned square, wide bottom designed with double walls and double bottom vent holes to allow 30% more oxygen intake. Right now, East Oak is having their biggest sale of the year on Amazon. Check the link below in the description to save at least 30% on these awesome pan stoves.
Now, the operation of the pan stove is actually very scientific. It's all about the secondary burn, which means even the smallest particles are completely burnt up. And there's zero dark, annoying smoke coming out of the fire. There's no smoky smell that would get on my clothes or make me cough. Once the secondary burn starts, there's only a little bit of white steam, which is natural to exist because wood has moisture. You see, the East Oak pan stove's unique design, being wider on bottom and narrower on top, means that as oxygen is channeled up the internal walls of the stove and back into the fire, this allows the Venturi effect to happen. The Venturi effect describes how the velocity of fluid increases as the cross-section of the container it flows into decreases. The Venturi effect means that the pan stove is able to more swiftly feed oxygen into the burning process making it, in essence, a smokeless burn. Because I'm gonna have this fire pit right outside my wood shop and constantly be burning wood scraps, it was really important to me that it was smokeless. As you can see here, I have this thing loaded up with all sorts of different scraps of wood, and there's no smoke coming off of it at all, which is great. I can leave the garage door open in the winter, be burning scraps, and not have to worry about a bunch of smoke blowing back into my shop and, you know, making us all smoky and stuff. It's also pretty cool that as soon as I put a fire pit outside my shop, my whole family wanted to come over and sit around it like we were on a camping trip. Of course, my son begged for us to make s'mores, and we did, because I like sugar as much as the next guy. All in all, I'm really happy with this fire pit and can't wait to put it to use. A big thanks to East Oak for sponsoring this video and making a fire pit that is bound to last for years to come.